Hello there and welcome back to our Blackburn Rovers Football Manager 2023 save. We are in the Scabbard Championships with the hope of taking us through to the Premiership. We're in our second season here at Blackburn Rovers and what a flyer we are off to. Now, just remember if you're enjoying the series so far or if this is your first time checking it out, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another video and check out our previous episodes where we are absolutely flying an unbeaten run so far this season. Um, it couldn't have gone any better. So with that, we've got to play in this episode, Cardiff, Swansea, Birmingham, and then in the Carabao Cup fourth round, we play Cardiff again at home. Can we make this another unbeaten episode? Look at how it's gone so far. Since the start of the actual season from day one, we have not put a foot wrong. We've had a draw against Sheffield United and a draw against Brighton, both very strong teams in the league so far. But apart from that, we've won everything that's come at us. In the competitions, Scavit Championship, we are top with 23 points. Only Nottingham Forest are drawing with us also on 23 points. Exactly the same record, just we've scored two more so far in the league in the Carabao Cup we're through to the fourth round we'll play that game in this episode and we don't enter the FA Cup just yet but if we carry on this little run we've got going on we could have another little run in the FA Cup as well now good for us is Sam Gallagher this year is absolutely flying he's won the most man of the matches he's won the most goals for us he's got great amount of assists and his average rating is a 7.87. Can he keep that up throughout the whole of the season? Not too sure. He's, he more than likely will have a patch of bad form, but it's not coming anytime soon, it looks like. So let's get into this episode. It's Cardiff up next in the championship. We're playing away from home this time round, and then three home games on the bounce against Swansea, Birmingham and Cardiff in that Carabao Cup fixture. Let's see what comes our way and let's hope this is, yet again, another unbeaten run. So there it is, it's 19 games unbeaten. So, so good. When this finally comes to an end, that's going to be such a shame. It's, it, at the minute, it looks like it's going to have to be someone massive to take that away from us. 24 goals in nine matches as well. So what's that? 2.2 goals a game? I mean, that's strong as well. Look at some of these. Three goals, three goals, four, three, four, three. So in the team of the week, it's no surprise to see that Sam Gallagher makes it in there, but also Harry Leonard's in there as well. And that is because... We did drop him into the team instead of uh, Joe Gellhart, who's not been on the most amazing form so far. And while did Harry decide he was going to impress, he got two goals in our win away from home against Wigan Athletic, getting a 9.1 rating, which means he's played two games so far this season and managed to bag himself three goals. Not bad at all. Obviously, an anomaly in the championship is that's his only appearance in there, but a 9.1 rating, two goals. I think we'll be keeping him in for this game again against Cardiff just to see if he carries that on. And I think Joel Gelhart will get a kick out of that. That's what I'm hoping that happens to Joel. And he comes back into the team in a game or two, feeling like he needs to keep that place. So good that we've got this 19-year-old Harry scoring goals. Hopefully that kicks Joe on to perform better for us when he is returned to the team. Okay, so another long-term, well, semi-term injury for us. Bradley Dack, obviously not too much in the starting lineup this year. Only had one sub-appearance, um, and that's in the Carabao Cup. So we did try to offload him just because of this 15k wages that we actually wanted back. No one would take him, but he's injured for five to six weeks now. Although he's one of them where he's not been playing, you just know for a fact that we're gonna have to, we would have had to rely on him in the next five weeks or something. Um, Another one to put to the injury list, along with Bonatini, Carter, Rankin Costello's just got food poisoning. He's only out for a couple of days and Bradley Dack now injured. So joint highest injury list in the league, not ideal, but not hope, you know, hopefully we don't need to call upon Bradley Dack in the next four to five weeks. So, okay, so Nicky Butt is up to his usual self and wants me to change the whole team around the bar travis gonna ignore that and review it when we come to selecting the team for the game and then the bookies do make us favorites at even money and that is because we've drawn our 
uh, one game and we've won our last four on the bounce. Cardiff did win their last game, but they also have suffered two defeats and a draw. Okay, so for this game, I can't, I don't know why I'm doing it, but we've had Pep Guardiola on the phone whinging about James McAtee's playing position. Now, we did bring him in on loan centre play as an advanced playmaker. Um, and he said he's going to recall him if we don't start playing him in that position. So just for this game, just tweak the formation a little bit to fit an advanced playmaker into the team so we don't lose him because I do need him as backup. That's He's keeping Bradley Dak out of the subs and the team, really, as our cover this year. So do, I just need to keep him. So hopefully we're doing this for this game, maybe another game, Guardiola gets off our back, which means we get one strike up front only, and that's going to be Sam Gallagher. If it goes pear-shaped at halftime, we switch it all back around. We don't restore Joe Gell heart to the team just yet which unfortunately also means Harry Leonard is dropped from this game apart from that not really too much change we've also put Pickering back into the team instead of Niall Mason he's managed to come back down to a low a light match load now which is good for us so we'll go into this now see how we get on we're playing Cardiff away from home hopefully it's three points and just because of the nature of this episode and we're trying to fit four games in, I'll only be showing the goal highlights from this uh, game just so we can fit more games into this episode. Look how high our defensive line is. Very pleasing to see that. Rodgers on the ball, in the box. Can he find anybody? Comes to the edge. McAtee! Oh, wow. What a finish. So it was worth it then. Pep Guardioli, I'm very sorry. We'll listen to Pep a bit more, shall we? I suppose uh, he knows a thing or two about football management. We're on the ball here. Travis in the centre of the park. Sam Gallagher playing as a lone striker now. Hopefully he can still make that work. Looping ball in by Travis. Not really done anything with there. Kind of wasted it. It looked more like he hooked it in just in case. Rodgers, another on lone player from Manchester City. Wharton turns in nice and inside out. Rodgers gets in there. Oh, it's a very loose touch. Williams. Nice to Britain. Britain crosses. Oh, McAtee? Okay. Guardiola, I'm very sorry. Hold on. Is he offside? What's happened here? It's a bit weird. Oh, no, it's, it's goal. It's goal. Well, there you go. Oh, Sam Gallagher, what a save. Ashley Phillips is there to finish it off. Wow, this is dominant again. This is dominant again. Oh, Williams lose the ball cheaply. And Phillips had to come over and cover. Yeah, that's not great. Two, Nottingham Forest. And it looks like this game finishes 3-1 to Blackburn Rovers. A dominant performance. We swap the formation around to a 4-2-3-1 with McAtee and an advanced playmaker as requested by Pep Guardiola. And instantly, McAtee gets two goals and an 8.2 rating. So very pleased with that. And that means we stay top of the table. Joint points yet again with Nottingham Forest, who did end up winning their game 2-1 to Blackpool. We do get another goal extra, though, on Forest for goal difference, which is going to be really good for us. So that means, then, 20 games unbeaten so far. Absolutely unbelievable. McAtee gets player of the match there. 8.2 rating with two goals. Absolutely fantastic. I think we just try that again for this next match. I can't see why we wouldn't do that again. So that next match comes fast in three days. It's Swansea at home in the championship. Um, I don't think there's really much to be done in between um, this game and the next one. So Nicky Butt at it again. Can you please change the whole squad? I don't know what it is with Nicky Butt, but he, he never likes a team that's, that's selected out there. I'm not be doing any of this. Blackburn Rovers, we are favourites to win this. Odds on as well. We're not on the last five. Well, Swansea have won the last two, to be fair to them. 13th in the league they are, but we they have got to come to Ewood Park. And it is an absolute fortress at the minute. Blackburn are nearly at a new team record. So we've gone 23 games undefeated. And that is the record, 23. So if we manage to stay undefeated against Swansea, we will break it. And this will be monumental in this club's history to go 24 games unbeaten in all competitions. A phenomenal result. So team selection, everybody's still on a light match load. I think we're going to stay with this team, how we've got it set up so far. Um... Yeah, I don't see any reason to change it, to be honest with you. So let's get into the game. Okay, so here we go then. Let's kick off. We're at, back at home at Ewood Park. We're playing Swansea. Can we just keep this mad run that we've got going? 
switched around the formation just to make Pep Guardiola happy, but it's paid off so far in that last game. Hedges on the ball, plays it to McAtee, who turns and finishes it. McAtee is on a run here. Wow. So that's 1-0, seven minutes in. This is absolute dominant. Oh, Wharton's free kick. What is... This team has got so much cohesion at the minute. It's unbelievable. Pickering puts the ball in. Nothing comes of it. Well headed from Williams. Hedges on the ball. Can he find somebody? He finds Gallagher. <gasps> what a save. But it is offside. He is offside. It's okay. Fair enough. But winning the ball back. Britain crosses in. Nobody there. It's just so promising. Look at this again. Pickering heads it straight back. It's just constant. Gallagher. What a goal. Get in. And that's come from an assist from Rodgers knocking it across the six-yard box. And Sam Gallagher is there to finish it. And that one does count this time. 2-0. They've put a couple of passes together now, though, Swansea. Could do winning the ball back here. Oh. Okay, Swansea might be back in it. It's 2-1. Hmm. Okay. That was, that was quite disappointing. Going to half time here. 2 1 up to Blackburn Rovers. I am happy with how the teams have formed so far. I would like to get one more goal before we put Gelhart on and consider any tactical substitutions to save fitness as Swansea get us underway for the second half. And they're just starting to put a couple of passes together now. Well headed there from Britain. McAtee on the ball. Does he want to pass it? Gallagher through the legs. No flag for offside. Oh, I thought it was. It looked too good to be true. What a ball that was from McAtee again. Gallagher just marginally offside. 66 minutes here. 2-1. Oh, no. We're stunned into silence. Oh, no. Right, okay. Come on, boys. Right, okay. 70 minutes. We are going to... Oh, do we do it? So the thing is here, we could go back to the two up front like this drop McAtee for Gelhart drop Morgan Rogers for Vale save ourselves a sub let's go let's stay positive Williams on to Britain Hedges can he find somebody he's had a shot oh oh so we've got a corner here Pickering puts it in and then they post Reese Williams 3-2 get in Come on, go defensive, start time wasting and playing for set pieces. Britain to Onoma. On the right hand side, crosses the ball in. Gallagher's there. Get in. 4 2. This is dominant. We're so good this year. Yeah, still proceed with the tactical changes. Praise the team. Eight to eight minutes played. Not too long. Oh my god, what a ball to Gallagher. Can he finish? Can he finish? Of course he can finish because he's Sam Gallagher. What a player Sam Gallagher has become over this last season, like year maybe you could say. Is that a hat-trick for him? Or oh, uh, one, two. Yeah, it is a hat-trick. It's a hat-trick. Of course it is. 5-2 that finishes to us against Swansea. Swansea did pull us back to 2-2 two, two, to be fair to him, but we just went for it. Goal from Reese Williams from the corner. Gallagher gets himself two at the end for a hat-trick. Unbelievable. So what is that then? Nottingham Forest, they absolutely smashed the middles before one. So they stay level with us. We keep the same goal difference. Um, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And there's no let up though. We play Birmingham at home in three days time. Birmingham are 24th in the league. So they are plum bottom seven points. We might be able to get away with doing some rotation here within the team it might be possible let's have a think about it i'm not going to commit to that for definite but it might be possible to get some good rotation here seven points minus 20 goal difference in 12 games that is some bad showing let's get into that game which is only three days away and we do also claim that new club record for unbeaten streaks 24 games is a new club record absolutely unbelievable stuff from this team and they could just keep extending it if the way they play uh, just carries on throughout this season so this could be an exciting time to break some records 
So let's look at what changes we are going to make to this team. We've got a few people now on medium and heavy match load. So I'll just be swapping some of the key ones out. Um, it's not going to be horrendous, but I think there's definitely going to be some changes. So let's have a look what we're going to do. Okay, so I said there wasn't going to be a huge amount of changes, but it turns out there actually was. There was loads of changes. Um, pretty much every single player hasn't survived. Uh, only Makati has survived staying on the pitch. And Andrew... And that's it, because I'm really confident in this team going ahead and doing something against Birmingham, who are bottom of the league. Uh, Larios has returned from injury, but he's only fit for 45 minutes, so he'll be getting subbed at halftime regardless, so we keep pickering on the bench. Apart from that, we return Joel Gelhart to side, who I'm desperate to see get some goals. Sam Gallagher is waiting in the wings in case that doesn't happen. So let's get into this match then and see if we get a result against Birmingham. And just because of the amount of games we're trying to play in this episode, I'll just be showing the goal highlights from this game just so we can speed on through and get four games in this episode with a header straight at the keeper. What a promising start. Hold on. This isn't promising. Okay. A save off the line there by Andrew, but this is not good. This is the this is the worst 10 minutes I've seen this team play. What's going on? Okay. Dolan's on side. Penalty. Referee, that is a penalty. Oh no, I've clicked the wrong button. Jack Vale's going to take his penalty. I don't want him to. Oh, Gelhart to take it. Oh, I've messed up. Please don't say I've messed up. Jack Vale, you've got to bag this. Oh, he does. Right, okay. Come on. 2 1. We've got a lifeline. Out to Mason. Making a run down the right hand side. Good ball through. Vale just wasn't. Vale, Vale. Gelhart. Get in. 2 2. 40 minutes in. Gelhart gets his goal. Vale sets him up. Praise the team there. No, no, it's not. There we go. It finishes 2 2 in that game. We go 2 0 down and draw it back to 2 2. But unfortunately, in the second half, we just don't make any inroads to score a goal. But well, XG was out of performance of Birmingham. If I'm honest with you, I actually feel like this is two points dropped. I do. I feel like it's two points dropped, not a point gained. So I'm quite disappointed with that one, really. And now the disappointing news about taking that draw against Birmingham is we are no longer top of the table because Nottingham Forest beat Huddersfield away from home 2-0. So they go top with a clear two-point advantage now. So it is 1-0 to Nottingham Forest in terms of that early upper hand in the league. Obviously, we do have to play each other still twice, so we could get the point swinger on there. And Nottingham Forest have to come up against somebody who will challenge them at some point as well. So, you know, it's early days, only 12 games into the season, but Nottingham Forest do take that upper hand in the league. And maybe doing that full team rest and rotation does come back to bite us. We have to go now to Cardiff in the Carabao Cup, so we'll put our minds to that. But it is just annoying not to see self first in the league and now we're second. So let's focus on Cardiff. Two days away in the Carabao Cup, see if we can get a result there because that's a nice little cup run we've got going on at the minute in that little... Uh, in that run that we've got going. We're still unbeaten. It's 24 games, I believe, or 25 games still now unbeaten, 22 of them in the league. So let's focus on Cardiff, um, probably restore the team back to what it was and get a result there and go through to the next round. Okay, so this is the team we're going to go and play Cardiff at home with in the Carabao Cup. Uh, let's see how we get on. Okay, so here we go then in the Carabao Cup. We're at home against Cardiff, who we've just beaten in the league only a couple of game weeks ago. Two early old cards in the game already. That's not great, really. Good distribution. Vale turns his man, plays to Gelhart. I'm playing two up front again now. Gelhart cuts back inside, gives it to Mason, cuts back, gives the booklet. Onima fakes a shot. Then he rifles one in the top corner. A roly-poly. Well played. Wow. Cardiff clear. Mason picks that ball straight back up. Buckley plays it over the top. Vale. And it's a goal. 2-0. Jack Vale. 25 minutes into this game now. Two shots on target. Two goals. Onuma with that yellow card. Probably take him off at half time. Leonard back to Onuma. He fakes a shot again. Oh. He wasn't happy with push putting one in the left hand corner. He wanted to put one in the top right as well. Buckley with the corner. Whips it in. Hayum's cleared away. Gelhart on the edge. What can he do with it? Does he shape up to shoot? No, he crossed it into Tyrese Dolan. Weird touch off his head there. 
Mason heads. Mason heads again. Gelhart. Leonard. Leonard holds it up to Garrett. He's gone backwards to Carter. Just playing it safe there. Gelhart, can he finish? Ooh, unlucky. Good move, that. We'll take a corner kick. Buckler. Whips it in. Nobody there. Leonard back out to Buckley. Can he whip it in again? No, he cuts in. Is he going to go for a shot? Oh, he's rifled it over the bar. That's really poor. Knockout phase. Cardiff attacking again. We've been caught short at the back. You've got to be kidding. It's 2-2. This is Cardiff bottom of the league. Didn't we beat him like 5-2 or something? Oh, dear. Right, okay. It's time for Sam Gallagher to get on for Leonard. Can you find Gallagher or Gelhart? No, we can't. Vale. Mm, not great. Punted long from Cardiff. Garrett plays Gelhart. Gallagher, is this it? Get in. Please keep that flag down. He has kept it down. It's 3-2. Two. two. Us. Wow. What a game this has been. It's an absolute roller coaster. We're playing Pickering. Oh, that's flicked across. Wharton wins it back. Look at this. It just won't leave Pickering. Can he whip something in here? He has. Gallagher. Oh, my word. You could put your house on Sam Gallagher scoring a goal in every match and, and you'd, you'd be winning houses and houses and houses. Absolutely unbelievable. In the Carabao Cup fourth round. Jack Vale's not finished with it though. Here is Gallagher. Oh, he's at the crossbar. He's offside. <laughs> Never mind, he hits the crossbar, he's offside. It's full time, it's 4-2 to Blackburn Rovers. And that means we're through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. We're into the fifth round of the Carabao Cup. Fantastic result. And with that, we'll wrap up this episode. And now, what an episode it's been as well. We started by playing Cardiff in the Championship where we beat them 3-1. We go to Swansea, we beat them 5-2 bit of a disappointing result against Birmingham we changed the squad around a full rotation of all the players bar two and we paid the price as we drew 2-2 two -two there but then we advanced to the next stage of the Carabao Cup and that is now the fifth rounder in so if we look at that in the league what does it mean it means that we're second in the league now because of dropping points against Birmingham Nottingham Forest have not let up their run they're 32 points in first we're second with 30 points through to the next round of the Carabao Cup, we'll find out who we play in that in the next episode when all the fixtures have been completed. Sam Gallagher still smashed them in with 12 goals in the championship and probably a lot more than that in all competitions. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you like the video if you're enjoying the run that we're on and the progress that we're making with this team. Follow the channel to make sure you do not miss another episode of this save or the Nottingham Forest challenge that we've got going on. Check that one out if you want to. Cheers for watching this episode. Make sure you tune in for the next one. Nice one.